into that. You talked about all of your online, uh, so I remember very well uh, during my leatherwork wellness, you being in that side room, working on your computer science independent uh, wellness and getting that uh, credit by working through the Stanford course. Um, and I was aware uh, through your learning plans and such of some of your other online learnings. Uh, and you're talking about, you know, when, as Cindy alluded to, the um, this, you know, lots of other curiosity-driven, interest-based learning. My wonder is, have you thought about how much online coursework there is available these days for college, uh, and the fact that you, you may be, if you're going to be doing this work, um, but mobility is still something of an issue, that you may be able to have a course of study through the community colleges or Eastern uh, that is online? I have been made aware of that. I have not thought a lot about it, but I do, I think I have a lot of expectations for an in-person experience of college. And I would like to live on dorms to be able to socialize with people in that sort of setting. I could go to college and take online classes, but I know I want to, at some point, attend college in person as well. So I'll think about that. I 100% I uh, support the attend in person. Um, I think that is a much richer experience. And my wonder is if, if you're going to be doing this work and this studying, um, maybe you could be getting credit for it at the same time. As much as I love the curiosity driven and just learning for learning's sake, um, the uh, you know, practical approach might say, let's, let's try to get some credit for some of this as well. Although you don't have quite as much choice in like, oh, this just sounds really cool, right? I mean, you have to check a few boxes. Mm -hmm. The courses I mentioned, or at least most of them, uh, they offer a certificate you can pay for, around $100. So if I wanted to get credit for the course, I would uh, purchase that, which is a conversation between me and my parents. I'm curious when they give a certificate of it. I wonder if that is equivalent to college credit or if it falls in some other category. That is a good question. Be sure you find that out. Because the idea then would be that when you get accepted and started Eastern, if those were actual credits, you would have them transferred to Eastern so that they count toward your Eastern degree. Um, I will tell you, as someone who has credits from a lot of different colleges and universities, having them transferred all the time from is, is kind of a thing. So, <laughs> um, I think I'll stop there. I, I, it's been a while since I got to see you uh, present, and I, I forgot how much I appreciate your very measured uh, approach, um, and your, uh, not that you're trying to do it for dramatic effect, but kind of dramatic pauses, and then on to the next thing, and the humor that you incorporate. So was, I found myself really being happy to get to listen to you again. Thank you. Um, yeah. I really appreciated the breaths that I saw you taking. felt like you're very present with your experience when you're presenting and with your body, and I really appreciate that. It comes across like very thoughtful and mature, and it also um, it made me easy it made it easy for me to just be with you in that space. Um, I want to echo to what Matthew was saying about really looking into what transfers where. I think we talked when we did your practice a little bit. I started at community college, and I actually started online first at this community college because I was working full time. And it really does make a big difference um, where. Um, some of these courses that they offer now are amazing, but if they're not going to give you the equivalent credit that you know you eventually need, um, it, my pragmatic mind says it's a waste of money, but that's, that's 
just because I had like such a large relationship with having to pay for my college. Um, so I think just really, really um, do that due diligence, like Matthew said. Um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit more about your writing, perhaps as someone who's also a writer. Um, it's something that uh, you right off the bat told us you were, you were passionate about. One of the things that I think helped me the most as a writer were two things. One is, if you're not in school and participating in writing classes, are there community writing groups that you can be in or participate in? And I know there are a lot virtually. And the reason that I say this is because it's so beneficial just to have people read your work and, and comment. It helps you focus your voice. It helps you understand how your work is you know, being received. Um, so if that's not something you've considered, I would definitely look into it. Are there Spokane ones? Are there ones through SFCC or SCC? Um, just to get that peer, peer feedback. And usually with those groups too, there's some sort of you know, professional moderator, mentor, teacher. Um, just to get the work out there. How, 